Hey guys, it's Silver Status, and today I'm joined for a special video with Nathan. Hello again, cousin. So late would probably be a massive understatement, wouldn't it? Very late. Yeah, this video <laughs> is late. Yeah, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, three months ago, um, four months ago. I mean, you'll probably see the title. Of yes, this. it's the Q and A that everyone asked for for a, a while ago. Me and Nathan are finally delivering it, so thank you so much guys for your patience. And also, happy 2020, happy new year. Cause happy new year. We haven't officially said that, and we're in January, we can say it still, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So guys, 2019 was an amazing year for us and the channel. And in general, it was just a lot of fun. I didn't think that I'd be able to make a channel and talk about anime and stuff and get people like Nathan in. Would you say that being part of this channel has made you a bit more involved in anime? A lot more. Yeah. He was just Shokugeki in Naruto before. Barely Shokugeki too. Let it go, man. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, guys, as a thank you, I appreciate you guys sending these questions however long ago you did. And today we're going to watch them. You ready, Nathan? Yeah. Let's do it! There's no AirPods, there's no 3-2-1, we're just gonna do it. So, the first question today is from Nyla, and it's how old are you guys? So, I might not look it, but I'm 24. And you? I'm 24 too. Hey, we're the same age, but I'm still a whole year older than you. Yeah, he's a school year older than me. It's, yeah. The next one is from Kirita, and it's do you love Saudi Arabia? Yeah, sure. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Never been. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been either, to be honest. From Kimochi, what's your favourite anime of all time? Oh, snap. Naruto Shippuden. Naruto Shippuden. Uh, for me, it's The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. And I would tell you about why I love it, but I've got a video called My Top 5 Favourite Anime. It's my first ever video on the channel. It's linked around here. Please be sure to watch that, guys, and write down your favourite five in the comments too. So, from Detox, are you from Italy? We are not from Italy. No. No, there are us. <laughs> no, we just visited Italy. Uh, at the time when I did the questions, I posted a picture of the Colosseum, but I was planning to do like a JoJo's videos. There's lots oh, I yeah. wanted to do. I might do it. We'll see how it goes. From your Chris, we've got best One Piece arc. Nathan, have you watched One Piece? Not at all. No, <laughs> as you guys probably saw from part one. <laughs> Maybe one day. I have, and for me, it's probably Water 7 slash World Government arc. I love it so much. When I was watching the show when I was younger, this part had me so invested at the time. There were ups, there were downs, there were laughs, there were cries. Honestly, it was so, so good. I really loved it. But you don't know what I'm talking about. No, not <laughs> cool. at all. Velo City, where do you see yourself in the channel in five years? Bonus question, Gintama when? Oh boy! <laughs> um, it's quite funny because as of this video, I literally just recorded watching Gintama and I'm going to watch Gintama soon. And where do we see the channel in five years? I'm hoping that in five years time it will be doing well enough to support me whilst I'm in Japan and doing loads of anime reactions, anime views and getting Nathan out there at times as well. <laughs> you know, I've got to keep my main characters. Mm -hmm. Gandlos, how did your family and friends react after hearing you wanted to move to Japan? Oh, uh, well, with that. so yeah, they were all cool with it. I think I haven't made it a secret how much I really like Japan. That being said, I obviously need to have a proper plan to go, of which I'm sorting out now and hopefully I'll be able to go for next year in 2021. And I do plan to still keep in touch. This is the years of the future. We have phones. It's all good. And I probably won't be staying there forever. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, would you rather do YouTube for a living, be a personal trainer, or a mix of both, or something else? Oh, probably a mix of both. That being said, I need to become a personal trainer first, don't I? <laughs> True. So this is to me. How long have I known Jordan? Um, what did I think? of his interest in anime besides the classics of Yugo, Dragon Ball and Naruto etc. Oh. So, I've known Jordan, well we've known each other pretty much since birth. Cousin. Yeah. It's a long story but we're te technically related and our dad's best friends. Yeah. So yeah, if now, I've known Jordan throughout my whole life. But, I have known him for a long time but I've, we've only like properly say what spoken for the past what six years or something yeah it's been yeah, kind yeah. of recent yeah how did I, what did i think of his interest in anime obviously i didn't know much about it at the time nope clearly yeah long time ago but i found it interesting mm. and i liked anime so i went on board with it boom and here and it is final question favorite japanese food oh for me it's ramen i mean i haven't had much but ramen too <sighs> all right i need to get nathan <laughs> Man. So good, Los. Thank you for all those questions. Yeah, that's a lot of questions in one. All right, so from uh, Mood, why is Gamora? I don't know. Why is Gamora? Why is Gamora? Who knows? Do you know? No. Okay. Well, if you guys know, let us know. Cool. This one's from Two Cents. These guys do anime reactions as well. They're awesome. Their channel is in our description as well. Velocity and Two Cents. Check them out. Who is your anime counterpart? Oh, 
Who is your iron ore mate counterpart? I'll say um, Chowji. Chowji? Yeah. From Naruto? Yes, I love to eat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably. For me, it's Ida from My Hero Academia. My oh, brother yeah. and sister literally go, <laughs> <laughs> literally in the, the glasses and everything. Class, the way. Class rep. <laughs> yeah. Class intro. Ida Tenya. This one's from Kime. Where in Japan do you plan to move? I actually want to go anywhere other than Tokyo, to be honest. When I visited Japan in general, I thought Tokyo was really crowded and living in a city at the moment is... Mm, I kind of like quieter places. We'll see how it goes, but I thought the areas in Sendai looked really nice. Or recently I went to Hiroshima and Hiroshima was awesome, so maybe around there. Alright, this one's from Lurkin Theory. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. I don't really like animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, my fiance has four cats and a little puppy. Four cats but and a puppy. I love dogs. Dogs are the best. Yeah. I think Nathan dogs rule. could be a dog sitter. <laughs> I do. Oh, he, do <laughs> he does sit on dogs. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> and this one's from Yandere Channel. It's not really a question, it just says, I'm Italian and I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> so, Lorella, how did we find out about anime mm. and what? brought us into the anime world. Oh, well, okay. So you I'm can... going to make this easy. Yeah. I found out about anime through, I mean, I was already watching it, then I found out it was called anime mm. through my older brother. Mm. And I was brought into it by my older brother locking me into a room and making me watch Naruto Shippuden with Forcing my younger brother. Forcing me to watch Shippuden. And then we tried to get out of the room, but then we actually end up loving it and watched it for four straight hours. And um, that's history. Yeah, and then obviously I found out about the whole anime world completely through Jordan, obviously. Yeah, and then yeah. your story is a bit bigger. So My story, let's see if I can do it quickly. Boom. I actually only started watching anime in 2012. So that's eight years ago now. Whoa. Still quite a long time. <laughs> but I started watching anime when I was 17. Because before, obviously, watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, they didn't really count for me. I started through Shabir from Velo City. He let me play Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 at his house and I was like wow look at all these Gokus they look really cool and it interests <laughs> me enough to start Dragon Ball because everyone watched it. I watched it and my sister watched it with me too she then went on to watch Naruto, One Piece, Bleach and stuff and then I got into it as well and then it wasn't until Attack on Titan came out and I got a Crunchyroll subscription I <laughs> rinsed out the library and I haven't looked back since pretty much yeah mm -hmm. so thank Attack on Titan Shabir and my sister. Gary, oh. would you put the at Instagram of all your guests in the description in the future? Well, I don't have Instagram, <laughs> oh, there you so go. Um, 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 I'll have to ask. What do the others do? I think. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll just have yeah. to ask them. Uh, but if they're cool with it, then yeah, sure, why not? Grim Joe, mm. why do you look so good with a moustache? Um, I can't really attest to that. Do you have an answer? I mean, when it grows out, he looks debatable. I actually, <laughs> I, I get <laughs> cast on the regs for it. <laughs> I think that question's okay, false, but thank you, you appreciate it. On, uh, same, same person, but also, are you hyped for My Hero Academia Season 4? Well, we're currently in the process of watching it. Yeah. This is very late, as we said. But, I am episode 13. Episodes, yeah, I'm a few episodes behind because I'm deciding to let it go along until I start. But I just watched episode 13 and, yeah, it was sick. Yeah, it's sick, sick. Like, wow. Okay, so, we'll put the name of this person at the top because I don't know, it's hard you not to see this. Uh, yeah, Kuburiku. I don't know, it's like cubic. Okay. I think it's what? Yeah, it says cubic. No, what does, what's the language? Uh, it's Japanese. Oh, uh, Japanese, yeah, yeah. It's in Japanese, that's why I can't read it. You know a lot of anime songs. Are there any songs you could sing? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can only hum the songs, really. Uh, but I'm not going to. Do you know any of them? I know a lot of songs about hum them. Uh, <laughs> I know some lyrics. So, my number one that I love singing all the time is Ending 5, I think, from Hunter Hunter. I, Forget it. It's called Reason by Yuzu, and it's awesome. And like the main chorus goes like, Iru yo soba ni ichiban shikaku, hima wa tada sore dake de ikara, itsu kakito ikaketa, yume no tsuzuki wo kikasete yo. You know that one. Yeah. I know I know Unravel and I can actually sing well, pretty much the whole song, but I'm gonna leave that. Okay. Beat Boop. Did your sister actually read Narrative fanfics when she was younger or was that all a load of rubbish? No, it was true. <laughs> okay. It was, I, I, I it don't was make true such guys. Random, I don't make up such random lines. Notting Hill 8. What anime character is most like your fiance? So I'm assuming this is for me. Yeah. Um, let's say Tadakolo Megumi. She's really cute and she's so shy and she has such high potential. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. 
cute. Alright, cool. Next one. This one's from Andrea. How many animes in total have you seen? So, um, well, Nathan, can you count now? Probably, what, 10 to 15? 10 to I'd 15. Say. Yeah, he's yeah. doing well, considering that he was on two. Uh, not so long ago. <laughs> I've probably seen about 400 to 500 of them. Sorry, are you being serious? Mm, but I don't know specifically. I've recorded them on a thing, but I'm going to make my anime list, and when I do, then I can let you know for sure. Cool. This one's uh, Yorozua F, and it's how much of the Japanese language have you learnt? So you asked this question ages ago, but I'm doing well. I can speak a fair amount. I'd say I'm like upper beginner. I can speak to people if I saw them. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're getting there. And I can write kanji, I can write hiragana, I can write the hiragana. I can do a bit. And I think my pronunciation is okay. But I need to get better so that I can live there. So Yori Moon says, What's the favourite place that you've travelled to and where do you most want to travel? So for me that one's easy. Japan. Awesome. Where do I most want to travel to? Japan. <laughs> Apart from Japan. Come I on. don't have anywhere else. Okay, alright, fine, Japan it is. I've got loads, I mean, oh, I don't know, I think Berlin was my favourite. Really? Yeah, I love Berlin, so much, so much food. Oh. And then, where I want to go, I'm not really a travelling person, so I'm not really interested no, in he, going anywhere. He's a couch very, potato. Yeah, yeah I'm very, I'm very, I love just staying at home, like staying in my own surroundings. Potato. Stuff. Yeah. Potato. But if I had to pick somewhere, yeah. uh, pff, Japan, why not? Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna go there eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna get everyone to come and then they're all gonna do a video in Japan. It's gonna be crazy. Kavichi 80, top 5 anime. Alright, so to be honest, there is a whole video that I told you guys about that that you can check out. But I'd like to add two special animes that I didn't talk about before. That's my favourite. And that is Nichijo, which is amazing. It's just so funny and just incredible. I love Nietzsche Joe. And also Kaguya Summer Lovers War has made its way into my top favourites. I just think it's amazing. So not your top five, just No, it's within my top five area. Because they they've seen it in my video. Oh, okay. What's your top five? I'm gonna condense mine to top three mm. just to make it easier. So I'd say Naruto Shpuden, yep. Haiku. Yeah. Oh, Haiku's in your top yeah, three. I love it. Oh, and it's great. what it's else? Great. Remind me of everything I've seen. Uh, you've seen Promised Neverland, Hunter Hunter. Uh, Hunter Hunter. Okay, just gonna yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next is David X. What's your top five favorite characters of all animes you've ever watched? Okay, uh, I can actually do top five. I've seen it all. Yeah. Right, Uchiha Tachi. Oh, okay, Tachi. Number one. Number one. Wow, cool. Um, cool. Bakugo. Yeah. Love Bakugo. Oh, Bakugo is pretty cool. Um, Kiro. Yeah, I love Kiro. Kiro is yeah, yeah. Kiro. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Obviously, Soma. No, 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 not Yuki Soma. Brew, Brew. Yes, Brew. Alice's aid. Oh, uh, Ryu. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, Ryu. sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. And then who else? Vegeta. All right, just dash it in there. Yeah. For me, um, I think Levi is one of my faves. He's awesome. I like Kaneki slash Heisei from Tokyo Ghoul. Awesome. Top five, huh? Just for now, you just have to do what you think of. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just chuck in one more there. Oh. Okay. Yotsuba from Quintessential Quintuplets. Yeah. I'll just, we're just gonna chuck them in. And Miku, I love Miku. So, Kaylee. What are a couple of your favourite animes of all time? Oh, okay. So well, we've already said that. No, just say one more that you enjoy. Oh, one more that I enjoy. I enjoy mm -hmm. all of them, man. I you know, hunt for My Hero Academia. Go on. Yeah, My Hero Academia? Yeah, okay, from it. recent memory... I'm gonna just chuck in Haikyuu as well. I love Haikyuu. Are, anim are there any animes that you haven't liked? Yes, there are. Okay, we'll yes. go on to that another day. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, so you just stopped watching them? No, no, I finished them. Oh, and you just like, yeah, I just God, I finished it. Yeah, pretty <laughs> okay. much. Uh, this one isn't a question. Miriam, congrats. She'll need some time to think about questions. It's okay, Miriam. It is what I it mean, is. we'll do another Q&A in like a year's time. <laughs> Probably, no, actually, no. For, for, like, maybe a few months. Yeah. Yeah, because these questions are old, so. Mohammed, when and how did you meet your friends and family? Sorry. Can you read? Not when I'm under pressure. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Mohammed, when and how did you meet your friends from Velocity? Mm. And what were your first anime discussions with them about? Uh, so we okay. pretty much kind of sort of talked about this. Yeah, well, anime. Shamir from Velocity is my friend from high school, so since year seven I've known him. Asif is his younger brother, and Nav is Asif's friend, so I've known them pretty much the whole time. Shamir's always had a questionable taste in anime, so I've always discussed what the heck uh, he's talking about, but we, we love Spicy Wolves. Spice and Wolf was a good one. Um, but we really got started with his channel last year, which was really, really fun, and from that point, it birthed my channel so thank you to those guys Derek 
Are you on the hype train, pun intended, of Demon Slayer? Oh. Yes. Mm, yes. Uh, what do you believe about the anime's transition to the big screen? Yep. Uh, canonical mm. uh, arc rather than another season? Mm. Keep up great content. Thank oh, you. thank you so much. Yeah. That being said, yes, we are on the hype train. Yep. Choo choo. I do. I do. <laughs> Absolutely agree with putting things into like you know the cinema and stuff. Yeah, if man. the series would be too short, why not make it a, a movie? And like, do you know how much like excitement it generates when something's in the cinema? Yeah, like as soon as it comes out, there's a whole bunch we're of us who are going. We're all going to see it. Um, yeah, I know Demon Slayer has got a lot of slack for being so popular for what it is, being overly popular for no reason and that kind of stuff. But I really love Demon Slayer. I loved everything about it. I thought episode 19 was a masterpiece. And I really can't wait to continue it. I'm not going to read the manga because Ifotable did such a good job on the anime. And I can't wait to see the movie. Really mm -hmm. can't. Yeah, we'll probably do like I'm a... Kind of, kind of forgotten about Demon Slayer right now because it's so focused on other things. Mm. But that's a good thing. There's so many animes to keep busy about. Always, always, always. Arga Rocks. Mm. What is the aspect that you like most about anime? Manga. And then manga. Uh, so anime first. For me, I think it's the way in which they're able to tell any kind of story. Like live action. They have no limits. There's no limit. No limits. Well, how can you go like, yeah, so I watched that gym anime. I watched that horror anime. Yeah. I watched, like there's literally everything. And on top of that, they tell the stories in such good individual ways. Whereas live action is just kind of one dimensional. Yeah. When you try and put all those things into a lot, like every single live action remake of yeah. it, it speaks it for doesn't itself. Go well. It speaks yeah. for itself, it basically. Just, in my opinion, it just shouldn't happen. Here we are having a battle series and a series where kids play volleyball in the same kind of talking category because they're both amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. just a like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then manga? I haven't really, I haven't read oh, it. I think so. in general, they've both got the same idea of how they tell that story, yeah. so I enjoy yeah. it both. Uh, Jerry Garcia. Oh. If I send you my socks, can you wear them and send them back? Uh, Jerry, mate. You know what, Jerry? Yeah, you can you can have my socks instead. Or Nathan's. Yeah, you can take Nathan's. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Julian, and he asks, what is your current favorite serializing manga? Okay, just send me a manga. You don't read manga, right? I don't read manga. <laughs> Quintessential quintuplets. I was corrected by Duncan the other day who said it's not quintessential quintuplets, it's quintessential quintuplets. But I don't care, I'm calling it quintessential quintuplets because it sounds cooler. Or quints for sure. I really love that manga, you know. The anime came out last year and it's been a while since I've really gotten into reading something after watching something um, the way I have for quints. Domestic Girlfriend and Black Clover, those three are my current favourite mangas at the moment. That being said, there are a lot that I need to catch up with, um, which is One Piece, which is obviously always amazing, and Kingdom, I don't know how far I am from that. I need to catch up with that, but those are the ones that I'm reading at the moment, and Quince is my number one. Alright, so this one's from Bang Tang, and he's asking if you can move to any country in the world, which country would you move to and why? This one's self-explanatory, Japan for me. And I'd get on the plane and go anywhere, then come straight back here. Oh, he's <laughs> catch me there. He's staying in England. Uh, yeah, I just like my home. <laughs> yeah, but there's can, nothing like home. You can create a home somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, maybe later. Okay, yeah. okay, <laughs> later. This one's from Cindy, and she's asking if you were a meme, what meme would you be, and why? They say eyes are the mirror of the soul, but I'd say it's memes. I'm probably gonna have to agree with you, Cindy. Hmm. So <laughs> memes. What? <laughs> which one would I be? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just realised what meme I would be. Oh. <laughs> would you pick care to share? So, any of you seen um, The Office? Everyone knows Stanley Hudson? That when he's sleeping on his chair? That's my meme. Oh, okay. Well, here. Here's it. If any of you guys don't know it. I think you'd be that, that fox. <laughs> that ugly fox? That looks like it's on drugs, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not that fox. <laughs> no. I am more like... I'd probably be the, the white blinking man, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will go with that one for now. From Limey Kamara, if you could choose any anime world to live in, which one would it be? Oof, this Why? is a tough one. I like this question. Uh, Nathan would live in Promised Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, uh, I'd be a, um, a nanny. Yeah, one of the mums. Naruto? Hunter Hunter? Oh no, oh, no. I, me I remember I thought about this before. I'd probably pick... Uh -huh. My Hero Academia. Ah, oh, that'd be cool. It's just basically like the normal world, but oh, everyone's got powers. I could have, I, even if I've got a rubbish quirk, even if I don't have a quirk, yeah. like I'm still in a world where it's the same. Yeah, I like, yeah. I'd love to live in the Naruto, the Naruto world, all of those worlds, but at the same time, I don't have transport everywhere. Yeah. I don't have a phone. You've had ninjas. I don't. Yeah, it's not. It's, yeah, it's true. and then everyone dies, and half the, the population dies in the war. Half the ninja population. Okay, cool. Spoilers. 
Well, anime or not, I'm gonna go with Pokemon because the Pokemon world is so yeah, cool. I'm really, I'm really cool. Pokemon world is so cool. Imagine just setting out on a journey and just because the thing is the world's the same as well, but yeah. you just get to fight with your monsters. Pretty much. Pokemon. Am I actually engaged? Or am I available to the fans? I am actually engaged. Oh. I'm available to no one but her. Oh okay. Sorry guys, got locked down on that one. <laughs> 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 so this one's from Anathema. Have you ever felt shamed for liking anime? Nope, not at all. Because every single person I've told I've watched anime. They always ask what it is, I show them, and they love it. We are in 2020 now. Yeah, it's I, actually, it a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> Back in 2011, <laughs> it wasn't so much. No, it wasn't a thing And within my friendship group, more people watched it with me than didn't. So I was lucky enough to have a great group of friends that we watched it together. So I never had any issues. But it was definitely, back in the day, not seen as... It wasn't seen... Still wasn't even No, big not just big, but people would be like, what the hell are you wasting your time for? Why aren't you watching Breaking Bad, that kind of thing. Yeah. But we pulled through and look at us now. watch serious stuff all this. <laughs> yeah. I think anime is more well told and everything. Yeah. And the final question is, what made you want to start your YouTube channel? So this links to what I mentioned before, um, where I was with Shabir on his channel. So if you guys haven't checked out Velocity, City, the link is over here. And we did a anime opening quiz where we t went head to head. We actually did this privately, so we didn't film or anything. Which, we thought, you know what, this would make a great video idea, and it did well. From that point, we did more and more videos on Velocity, and we did a Naruto Shippuden opening reaction, which has done really well. It's currently sitting on 400k views. And from that point, I thought, why couldn't me and Nathan try doing it? And then we did JoJo's. <laughs> and uh, I'm, really, I'm really glad that we got to do it, because I had always wanted to create a YouTube channel at some point. But creating content and not having people watch it was definitely a concern for me. And I was kind of given a really good opportunity to do it so so every content creators fear yeah yeah so thank you guys i really appreciate it it's a big thank you from me from nathan from adrian from everyone else that's featured in this channel for watching our videos we really really appreciate it because so, yeah. how would we make videos if no one watched them mm. so thank you thanks eventually we'll do another um q a if we get to 10k which i think we might do at some point yeah. we can do it then normal people to ask questions yeah, yeah. and also mm. I do have a YouTube channel, but oh. there's nothing actually on it. Oh. <laughs> it's just to follow myself. Ah. To, yeah, not to follow myself. Follow to be, to follow. To subscribe. YouTube, to subscribe to YouTubers who subscribe I like. Us. Now, if you see this name, yeah, this name, pop up commenting or replying to comments, then it's me. Yeah. Okay. So Nathan will be active in the comments, guys. He's active. He's going to be watching. Yeah. I'll probably get everyone else to be active too. So look out for that too. But guys, that was our Q&A extremely overdue video. Um, yeah, it took a while, but it's here. We got it out. If you guys enjoyed it, then I would really appreciate you guys to give it a like. And if you're here new, be sure to click subscribe and check out the other videos we do here and tick the notification bell, which will tell you about all the new videos that we do. We do anime opening reactions, mostly. Anime episode reactions and other things to do with anime. So you can check out what we've got going on. But following that, we will hopefully catch you guys in the next anime opening reaction video uh, next time. So, see ya. See you later. Bye.